Imagine a world where climate information is as reliable, useful and easily available as this week's weather report. Today we can plan our work and leisure for the next few days knowing that the weather will be warm or cool, wet or dry, windy or calm. But over the next decade, people will increasingly be able to access more reliable and useful climate information, describing the outlook for the coming months. They will benefit from detailed analyses of the risks their community or businesses face due to climate variability and climate change. By the year 2025, decision makers around the world will benefit from climate services based on scientifically credible information and expertise in the form of sophisticated maps, graphs, predictions and tailored advice. They will use this information to decide what crops to plant, to prepare weeks or months ahead for climate-related disease outbreaks, floods and droughts, and to develop multi-year plans for managing freshwater and other natural resources. That information-rich world is still a few years in the future, but that future starts today. Compare this vision to how people lived some a hundred years ago. How did they plan their activities with hardly any information about the weather, even a day or two ahead? What happened when severe rainstorms arrived unexpectedly while they were working on the farm, fishing on a boat, or traveling to work or school? Fortunately, weather science has made immense progress since then. During the last few decades, weather forecasts have become readily available in most parts of the world. And thanks to major investments in research and observations, today's five-day forecast is as reliable as the two-day forecast of 25 years ago. These developments have saved lives and benefited billions of people worldwide, as the near-term future can be predicted with useful accuracy. However, in today's increasingly complex world, policymakers need to plan much further ahead than next week's weather. The ability to understand and predict seasonal variations in the climate as well as longer term trends and to assess how they may impact particular communities and sectors has improved considerably. If farmers are presented with a high enough probability that the next growing season will be drier than usual, they can use this information to decide which crops to plant, when to plant them and when to irrigate. If city managers know that extreme rainfall is more likely in the next few months or that the winter is likely to be particularly cold, they can ensure that city services are better prepared. Similarly, there is a growing understanding of how fluctuating climate conditions can affect the spread of diseases such as meningitis and malaria. If experts know that the next season is likely to be particularly dry or particularly wet, they can estimate the risk of certain disease outbreaks. These estimates can then be combined with knowledge about which people may be particularly vulnerable and map health-related infrastructures such as roads and hospitals. Climate services deliver this integrated knowledge to help public health providers prepare for an upsurge in waterborne and other climate-linked diseases. Freshwater resources are also strongly affected by climate variability. When water managers know the probability that the coming weeks or months will be exceptionally dry or wet, they are able to take steps to maintain water supplies at the right levels. Natural disaster managers can also use climate information to assess the risks of floods, heat waves, landslides, storms and other hazards. This allows them to be better informed when deciding how to position emergency supplies in advance to alert the public and to take other measures to reduce the risks of disaster. The risks posed by natural climate variability are being exacerbated by human-made climate change. Climate services can also inform strategies for addressing these new and emerging risks and to plan for the world of the 21st century and beyond. For example, a city's infrastructure, built on the basis of past climate conditions, may now be increasingly vulnerable to frequent floods caused by extreme rain. It may face coastal flooding worsened by rising sea levels. Climate services can deliver information 
and assessments that allow city planners to guide urban expansion and invest in infrastructure that will be better suited to future weather conditions. These analyses of climate change risk typically integrate data on population, economic, health, energy and other trends. This enables society to be more resilient and better prepared for the risks and opportunities that are likely to unfold under a changing climate and to improve future provisions of adequate drinking water, energy supplies, climate smart transport and other public services. Many other sectors can benefit from the long-term strategic guidance that climate services can provide. The farming sector can assess long-term changes in water availability to determine investments in the irrigation and other infrastructure. Will crops such as tomatoes, sorghum and beans be suited for the climatic conditions of the year 2025? Will cattle rearing still support pastoralists' livelihoods if the land continues to dry out over the next decade and beyond? Or is it time to consider other trades that will not suffer from future climate conditions? Humanity faces enormous challenges over the coming decade, but we are rapidly developing new tools for addressing these challenges. The Global Framework for Climate Services is advocating greater engagement and investments in developing and delivering climate services to help inform decision makers with science-based information and predictions on climate variability and climate change. With the support of the World Meteorological Organization and other United Nations agencies, this intergovernmental partnership assists governments and communities, especially in developing countries, to acquire resources and expertise so that they can make better informed decisions based on climate information. Full access to climate services will significantly contribute to improving the well-being of people everywhere.